Welcome to book three, proposition 20. So, uh, what he does is he this is a given circle that we have except for the pink line. Um, and our proof is we're trying to prove that any point that has B or C common will have an angle that's half of this angle E, or angle CEB. Uh, I just label it angle E because it's a little easier. So basically, in this specific example, what we're trying to prove is that this angle E is equal to 2 times this angle A, or you could say that this angle A is 1 half of angle E. So what he does first is he extends a line from A to E. Right, I'll write this. I'll lose the line. Uh, he extends this line from A to E, and then he extends it to point F. And we do this because of postulate 1. Um, yeah, so you can sing along at home, except for Gabe, uh, don't sing. Um, <laughs> then what he does is, since we've done that, we have now created a isosceles triangle. So, we have this, and we know that these two lines are equal, uh, this EA and this EB. So he says that EA and EB are equal because of Proposition 5, which says that lines from, uh, if you have a line from the center of the circle going to the outside, they're always going to be equal. So you could also say that this line EC is going to be equal as well, but we want you to do that right now. Um, okay. Yes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to prove uh, a lot about this isosceles triangle. So in this triangle, we know that this side here and this side here are going to be equal. We also know that this angle here and this angle are going to be also equal. So we have just proven uh, because of the definition of an isosceles triangle, which is, or we'll use common notion 32, which common notion 32 says, I mean, <laughs> proposition 32, 32, yes, says that the two interior angles of the isosceles triangle will be equal to the um, exterior angle, exterior angle. So this angle J. So what that says is that says that this angle C plus angle K, excuse me, is equal to angle J, right? Yes. Uh, is equal to this angle J. Okay. Yes. Oh, and so, so basically now what we can do is since we know that these two angles are equal because it's an isosceles triangle, we can say that this angle C is equal to this angle K. And then, therefore, we can just say that it's 2 angle C that equals angle J. So that's kind of common notion one as well. Okay, so that's the first one. Now, he kind of does the same exact thing. I don't know why I put that down. <laughs> he kind of does the same exact thing, but for this triangle here. So, in the same triangle, we know that this line here and this line here are going to be equal. We also know that these two angles are going to be equal, so we'll just go ahead and just write out the same thing that we just did. Um, so we know that this angle C, I mean angle I, plus angle T, right here, is going to be equal to angle S. Or it's going to be their um, exterior angle, because it's the same thing. So we use book, 30, book 132, and we're about to use combination 1 again. So we know that this angle I is equal to this angle T. Therefore, we can just say that let me see, this angle T, so the angle S is equal to 2 this angle I. I mean, I was over there. <laughs> okay, so and then we're going to do the same exact, uh, I think we're going to do the same thing again. Yeah, so I'm going to start these because those are, those are big. Uh, Okay. Okay, so now we know that this angle A is equal to this angle I plus this angle C. Because, and then we'll use combination one to prove that, because it's the same angle, it just happens to be split. We're going to come across another one like that later in the book. And then we also know that this angle E, this one here, is equal to 2I plus 2c. And then 
Therefore, we can say we can say that this angle E is equal to two angle A. Angle E is equal to two angle A. Yes. Okay. Yes. And we can do that because of combination one and then the math we've just done. Okay. So now moving on. Uh, we're going to prove a little different part. So this is the first part of the proof done. Okay. So after we've proven all this, what our next step is, is okay, we'll go to six. And then what we can say is, so we're going to go ahead and add our two kind of proofs, our statements here. So we have angle J is equal to two of angle C. And then we have the angle S is equal to, excuse me, two of angle I. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna add these two now. So we have angle J plus angle S is equal to two angle I plus two angle C. And then this angle is actually just angle E. So yeah, that's the first part of the proof done. We're gonna go to go to the next part. So we've just proven that um, this angle E is two of Angle I and two of angle C, which is if you take it together, it's double. So this angle is actually just this is just be two angle A, which is what we set out to prove. I didn't write it down. <laughs> that's what we set out to prove. So yeah, then we're we're going to go to the next part. So that's the first part done. Okay, welcome to the second part of uh, Book Three, Proposition Twenty. So uh, he just he's just proved something. Now we're going to actually do the proof right now. So when he starts out doing, this is the same, sorry, this is the same picture as before. Um, I just like brought it out to make it a little like cleaner. Okay, so what he did is, the only thing he's done is he's made line DE and extended it through to G. Uh, extend. Extend to point G and we use that using plus to it one. Okay, and then two. Oh yeah, we gotta do triangles now. So what we did before with triangles, adding them and kind of subtracting them and finding the different sides using proposition 32. The common notion one, we're gonna do the same thing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and draw these ones out because it can get a little tricky. The biggest thing to note here is that this angle KJ when we're dealing with this first triangle is just one angle. Uh, so I'll go ahead and draw it out. Uh, this is angle K plus angle J. This is angle S. And then, sorry, D, C, E. And this is angle So this is what we're trying to prove, actually. Uh, sorry, I guess I should probably say that before. Uh, this is uh, that two of angle J is equal to this angle P because this is the exterior. This would be the exterior angle of this triangle. So that's what we're trying to prove. Okay. So uh, what we're going to do now is same thing. Uh, we know that this angle K plus angle J plus angle S. This is one angle uh, equals angle Q. But we know that, and since it's an isosceles triangle, we know that we have, I don't know, oh, these two sides are the same. And so therefore we'll have two angles that are gonna be the same. Um, yes, we have those two angles that are gonna be the same. So we know that angle K plus angle J is equal to angle S. So then we can just say, um, that's, <laughs> that is a funky looking star. Anyway, so we can just say we have two angle K plus angle J equals Q. Okay, so that was like three, yeah, we'll go to three now. So now we have another triangle that we're gonna to need to prove now. Uh, it's gonna be this triangle here. So I'll go and draw it up here for you. There you go. Um, this is angle K, this is angle T. It's, a, it's just this one down here. Um, this is angle, uh, well, we don't really need an angle. This is angle G. So we know that uh, this angle K plus angle T is gonna be equal to angle G. Um, okay, so now we can, and then we know that angle K is equal to angle T. Therefore, we can just say, oh, that, was, that was even worse. They're getting progressively worse as we go. This angle two of angle K is equal to angle G. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our two um, 
Therefore, I guess, sorry, we use Proposition 32 with common notion 1 again. Um, yes, so what we're going to do now, and then we're going to subtract them. Uh, 2 angle K plus angle J is equal to Q. And then 2 angle, why did I write 2 again? <laughs> K. 2 angle K is going to be equal to angle G. So now we're going to subtract it, which I think is common notion three. Uh, I don't really remember. I think so. Uh, common notion three. And so we're going to subtract. Yes, so we're going to subtract them. So then these two cancel because it's K and two. So now we just have 2J is equal to angle Q minus angle G. And so that's going to be angle P, because if we have this angle Q here, and we take out this, ang this angle G, G, then we're left with this tiny angle here. And that is our proof. Well, what